12 reasons your medicines aren't working. What are some reasons you may have medical treatment failure? The simple answer is there may have been a medication error which may or may not be harmful to you. It may have been caused by the doctor who prescribed the medicines or the pharmacist who dispensed them or you and I who are drug users. But today our focus is going to be on medication errors caused by the patients or the drug users and how to fix them so that we don't come down with medical treatment failures. So what are those reasons why you could have medical treatment failure? Reason number one, you forgot your prescribed dosage. And so you decided to take just maybe a single tablet so that you don't miss out. The truth is you have actually missed out. So what do you do to fix this? Do not discard the labeling with which your medicines came home. It contains the dosage, the description of the drug, and how to use it. So if you discard it before the end of the treatment, it's possible for you to forget how to make use of your medicine and what dosage to use. So do not discard until you have completed your treatment. Also, you can call the pharmacist or the doctor in order to get a reminder of what exactly your dosage is. If you do not use your drug at the exact prescribed dosage, you will not get the expected treatment outcome. Reason number two, you took the wrong medicine. How do you fix this? Ensure that your medicine storage cabinet or storage area is not cluttered and that every medication in it is labeled, the name is visible and every detail about it is known including the expiration date. Declutter your medicine storage area once in a while and if you do not know the name of a medication or you don't know what a medication is, please do not take it and do not discard your packaging, your labeling on your medication until you have completed your treatment. Reason number three, you got tired of taking your drugs after a few doses of no relief. It is quite discouraging to be taking your medicines and not getting the relief or the outcome you expected. But do not give up. However, you can report this to your doctor or your pharmacist so that the situation can be assessed and a possible change can be made for you because this can be evidence that the medication is not suitable for you or not effective for your health condition. So report this to your pharmacist. However, it is also good for you to note that certain treatments do not take effect or the action you expect may not be visible until a few days, months, weeks after uh, treatment. So do not expect magic. However, if you're not getting relief, also communicate this with your pharmacist or your doctor before you stop the medication. Don't stop on your own. Let your doctor or pharmacist know about it. Reason number four, you hate the taste of drugs so you take them with fruit juice. A lot of people commit this error. If you have committed this error, please put a comment in the comment section. So the truth about this is fruit juices contain substances that have the ability to alter the way our medicines behave. They affect the way the medicine is absorbed, is excreted from the body and they can also make our medications toxic to us so the best thing to do is use your medications only with water except when advised otherwise by your doctor or your pharmacist reason number five you had unpleasant side effects and so you stopped taking your medications yes Unpleasant side effects can be intolerable, can be annoying. However, what you need to do to fix this is, before you start taking your medication, 
acquaint yourself with information about your medication this information is contained in the leaflet and i'll discuss this in a subsequent video so your leaflet contains a section where it discusses side effects if you're armed with this information your side effects will not come to you as a surprise however once you come down with a side effect call your doctor or your pharmacist and let them know about it in some cases you may need to stop the medication altogether and in some cases they may have to help you manage the symptoms you are experiencing in order for you to continue taking your medications to get the expected treatment outcome so long and short is let your doctor or pharmacist know the side effects you are feeling do not stop taking your medicines without informing them reason number six you miss the dose so you stopped altogether how to fix this if you miss a dose don't stop simply catch up by taking the next dose do not double the next dose because you missed the previous dose just take the next dose i mean catch up take the next dose and try to remain consistent with your medications so that you get the best out of your treatment reason number seven you took the wrong route and so you missed your way if you take the medication through a route that is not prescribed for it you will not get the expected result for example you swallow a vaginal tablet or you put an eardrop in the eye or you chew a tablet that is meant to be swallowed all of these cannot give you the exact expected outcome reason number eight you combined your medicine with another one that antagonized its activity if you do combine your medicine with another medication not prescribed for you while you are already on a prescription this can result in what we call drug interactions and such drug interactions may be antagonistic and the activity of your prescribed drug will be affected so before you start taking herbs supplements if you're already on them when you are going for a new prescription you should let your doctor and pharmacist know about it and if you're already on a prescription please do not add them to your medications without letting your doctor or pharmacist know about it reason number nine you felt better after the first or second dose and you stopped taking your medications well if you do this especially with antibiotics you're setting yourself up for drug resistance or antibiotic resistance because the microorganisms you are fighting the antibiotics with will develop natural resistance against it a natural defense against the medicine and so the next time you need that medication it would not work so if you have medications prescribed for you even if you start feeling better before you complete your treatment please complete your treatment as required and if you must let your doctor or pharmacist know before you take such decision do not stop taking your medications abruptly reason number 10 you bought a substandard or fake medication how do we fix this always buy your medications from a reputable pharmacy shop and make sure you use reputable hospitals do not patronize quacks because if you use a substandard medication you cannot be expecting the same activity you would have gotten from a genuine product reason number 11 your lifestyle may be interfering with your treatment alcoholism smoking poor diet and low physical activity can affect the outcome of our treatment so if you want to get the best out of your medical treatment support it with lifestyle modifications that assist your medical treatment the success of our treatment can be more visible if we support this treatment with lifestyle modifications and ensure that we maintain good health 
while on uh, treatment reason number 12 you did not watch this video to the end okay if you are still here then it means you actually did watch it to the end thank you very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe don't forget to turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of my videos see you in my next video if you need to go over the video once again please do if you have questions comments put them in the comment section and i'll act on them till i see you again bye